What's up, traders? This is Matt with Conservative Trades. Hope everybody's doing all right today. Um, today was a, a pretty good day for me. Um, started out kind of rough. I ended up having to hold hold through some pretty severe pullbacks. Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit here in the video, but nonetheless, ending the day up $207.37. And um, I, I was actually up a little bit more than this. It was like uh, 217, 220 something, 230 something. I don't know. Um, I took a couple more trades, just didn't work out. And so um, I'm ending the day up only $207. But I did tell everybody in the live stream that, you know, um, worse, worse, uh, Worst case scenario, I'm going to end the day up in the 200s. And so I'm doing that and I'm stopping here. Um, I, I, I left for a while, I came back to the markets. I thought, you know, I, I, I thought it looked good here on UAL to um, try going short right here. It looked like we were about to get the breakdown back to VWAP. I was just looking for a good quick scalp um, to uh, put me up to around 250 on the day or whatever. It, it would have taken me up closer to 250 on the day, um, but we we didn't get it. And it you, you can see here it ended up popping up. So I just got out. I just got out. Um, I did. <laughs> you know and this is this is the this is the irony of it i did notice that when it broke up here it was almost kind of double topping the, with this area over here and i thought to myself you know what this might be another good spot to just get in real quick and i should have but at this point again like i said I, I, you know i told everybody in the live stream i'm going to i'm going to come out this day 200 at least 200 dollars and so after fees and commissions i'm probably ending the day up i don't know 100 and sixty dollars maybe so um maybe 170 so it, it, was, it was a pretty pretty decent day uh for a guy who's had it pretty rough here lately but i will go over like i said the the, the two trades that i traded on were rcl and ual and um you know the interesting thing about both of these stocks is um they ended up having a severe pullback in the morning here i i, I went short here as you can see and i had to get out some of my shares here right and then I went short again here and it drew back and I got out some of my shares there um, and I continued to allow for a pullback and I went short again there. I got out here. I noticed that it got a rejection here. You can see here this um, this wick here and it was forming uh, lower highs. I just thought to myself, you know, this might be another good place to go short again. So I went short, pieced out a little here, a little here and a little here. And then as you can see here, um, I got short here. It came against me, um, like I said, uh, so I ended up having to get out, but I first averaged in and then, you know, just to bring my my average up higher so that I could still get out with a very small loss. I think I took like maybe a, I don't know, like a $10 loss on this one. So it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Um, but, um, but yeah, you know, uh, the, the, the airlines and the cruise lines right now are just not doing all that great. Um, and I know that they've been tracking with XLF, um, a little bit more faithfully here lately. And so, you know, if you, if you look at, uh, the financial sector, it just, um, you know, it, it seems like, um, you know, it, overall, we're, we're, we're having a difficult time with it. Even here on the daily, you can see um, how it's looking. And um, I, I just didn't expect too much. There, there wasn't a, a, a huge reason for anybody to come in and start buying up, uh, you know, the, the market today. And so um, let me see here. Let me get back to uh, there it was UAL. OK, so um, and, and one thing that I noticed on UAL is it was doing the same thing that a lot of the other the, the cruise lines and the airlines were doing. But you can see here, I'll move the moving averages out of the way. Um, we have this trend line on the daily and it has rejected it multiple times and it was uh, officially below the nine moving average. Right. Um, and so I, I you know, I knew that the, that it could potentially come up to that point, come up to that nine EMA. Um, but I, I did not expect just with, with how weak the markets were today, I did not expect any kind of major run up. So this was actually just a really good trade for me. And I, you know, like I said, I held through the pullback. Um, I did average in here and here and ended up making a little bit of a profit there, but, um, it wasn't looking good for a while guys. And then I, you know, but I'm glad I added here and I'm glad, you know, I came out a little here and then added again here. Um, that kind of kept me sane in the trade, so to speak. Um, but, um, but yeah, so let me just remove that and we will get back here to RCL. RCL was the one that I was really, uh, just had a lot of hopes for today. And you can see here, you know, I got short and then got out. I was just, right here at the market open. I was trying to trade it, but I really thought we were going to get the move down, but RCL was really struggling. It was the weakest of the cruise line. So, you know, um, again, out of, you know, when you, when you compared it to CCL and NCLH and all that, I mean, RCL was just, 
getting hammered. And uh, like I said, the news on it wasn't the greatest, um, but it started coming up and I started averaging in and averaging in and I held Guys, I held through all of this. Got out a little here just to be safe, just in case it did end up going up through here, and I was going to eventually have to take profit. But when it came up here, and it, you know, can, you know, it just looked weak. It looked weak, and, it, and and the sellers just kept pushing it back down. I was watching the level two and everything, and it just did, you know, there's just a lot of selling on it. So I went short again, and then it started coming down here. Started taking profit, took more profit down here. Went short again here for the break of this candle, and then took profit down here. It came back up. I went short again, took some profit here, and then took some profit here but then I went short again here um, just because I noticed that this you know we, we started building a, um, a good downtrend momentum here um, so I went short went short took a little off here went short again and then took off some here went short again at the break of this candle took off some here <laughs> went short again um, took some off went short took some off and and that's when I decided okay this this is no longer gonna be working for me so you know I need to I need to be very very careful with it from here on out and so um, it's a little disheartening, guys, because I actually could have ended the day up uh, really a, a, a lot more than that. If, if I had just kind of, I mean, you know, we were nearing 11 o'clock at this point. There was no reason for me to continue to trade. But um, I did have hopeful expectations that we were going to make it down to test the $50 mark. And that's what I was hoping for and hoping we could get a good quick flush down to maybe $48, $49. Um, and again, you know, looking at this trend line, this just looks like a really good move. The, the news on RCL isn't that great right now. Um, man, I forget the details of of it just check it out on finviz you guys will see what i'm talking about but nonetheless uh, this this just seemed like seemed like it was going to be a really good trade today so we did well today guys and i'm glad i came in here with a fresh perspective this morning and i was disciplined i i held through my trades i i held to my convictions i didn't just get out and take a big loss and have to make that loss back you know later in the day like that's kind of what i've been doing lately and this is what i've been telling everybody you know it's not that the strategy hasn't been working it's just my mental discipline my emotional control has not been on par where it should be you know there's a lot of days in the market that um, when when I was really back testing the strategy and even when I came in and started trading the strategy even before I started the channel there were a lot of pullbacks that I ended up that I held through um, because if I if I if I knew the technicals were good and I knew even fundamentally that it was good you know the news catalyst or whatever you know I, I maintained that level of confidence and I held through it and if I had to take a big loss I would take a big loss but more than most of the time those trades have, have worked out and even here in the last several weeks when going back and reviewing my trades there are so many trades that I got out way too soon on and I ended up taking losses when I didn't have to there's so many days in the last several weeks that I could have ended up several hundred dollars had I just stuck to the plan you know so it's like I'm executing my strategy like I'm 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 executing the trade idea, but I'm not following through with it. Why? Because I've been kicked in the teeth a lot lately. We all know the story. We've talked about it a million times. And, you know, my, my confidence has been stripped. But it's days like this that are going to help me bring that confidence back. They're going to help uh, me propel forward and continue moving forward in the direction that I should go. Um, hopefully, you know, Lord willing, we'll get there. Um, but today was a good day and hope, hope it was a good day for you guys. Um, I know there were some guys in the live stream that were just kind of sitting on their hands today and not really, you know, feeling comfortable about trading and just kind of flat on the day. And um, now, you know, of course, that was this morning. Maybe by now they've made some trades and made some moves. But you know what? I'm not going to fault you if you didn't. Yeah, I'm not going to fault you if you did sit on your hands all day long. I think um, I think there's a lot to be said for that. I think a, a really good trader knows when to sit on their hands and knows how to to. to to sit on their hands. That takes a very, very, very special kind of discipline there. Um, and even if it means you, you, you being flat on the day, um, you know, I've heard some of the most professional seasoned traders out there say, um, cash is a position. Okay. And, you know, I think about all the days that I should have sat on my hands. And if I did, my account probably would have been, would have maintained itself, you know, in, in a lot better of a place. You know, I probably would have, I probably would be doing much better on my overall account had I sat on my hands on several days. Um, and maybe that's, you know, that's a goal that I, that I, that I want to be able to achieve. Um, and so, you know, it's very encouraging to me, you know, especially we, when we've got people like that in the chat room who are able to sit on their hands. I, you know, that's, um, that challenges me and that makes me want to be better. Um, but nonetheless, today I'm glad that I did jump in and I was able to stick to my rules and trade my strategy and I just stuck to the plan, guys. And this is something that I, hopefully I'll be able to carry with me throughout the rest of the week. I mean, guys, if, if, if I'm able to come in here every day and 
make another, you know, a couple hundred bucks a day, you know, every day this week, we'll make a thousand dollars this week. And that's something I can live with, you know, and even if I have to sit on my hands one day, maybe I'll try that someday this week. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's, 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 that's a very difficult thing for me to do. But um, again, kudos to those of you who can. I think I think that that takes a, a very, very special, extra disciplined, well-seasoned trader to be able to do that. And that that's a little out of my league at this point. But um you know, uh, hopefully, you know, I'll get there one day. But anyway, guys, uh, once again, hope you all had a good, good day of trading today. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and consider joining us in the live stream. We, tra we trade live right here on the channel Monday through Friday, beginning roughly around 9 a.m. We'd love for you to join us. And to all my regulars, shout out to you guys. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys and trading with you all tomorrow. Take care.